Let me show you how Xpayments works with Xcard 5. Credit card form can be set to appear as a separate page or as embedded into your checkout via an iframe. In the first case, a customer fills in all the info on checkout, chooses a payment method and then goes to the separate page to complete an order. In the second case, Xpayments credit card form is displayed as a part of Xcard checkout page, so your customers don't need to take additional steps to complete their order. In both cases, the form will look perfect on any screen size from desktop to mobile, whatever device your customers use, because Xpayments templates are fully responsive. You can set the way Xpayments form is displayed on checkout in Xpayments connector settings. Go to Modules, search for Xpayments, Settings, tap Connection. Tick the checkbox next to the Use iframe option if you want Xpayments form to be displayed as embedded into the checkout page. To have Xpayments form match your overall store design, you can easily create your own template in Xpayments. For this purpose, go to Xpayments dashboard, Settings, Templates. Use a default template as a basis to create your own. To see how Xpayments form will be displayed in the iframe mode, tick this checkbox. In the General Styles tab, you can set font style and color and set the page color. If Xpayments form is displayed on a separate page, the color selected here will be applied to that page. Additionally, if the form is displayed on a separate page, you can add your logo into the header. Just enable the header and upload your logo. In the Payment Info tab, you can select what block should be displayed or hidden on the payment form. In the next tab, you can customize card details form. Enable or disable background and change font colors. And finally, you can change the button color. To save the template, just click Save Copy As and name it. In order to assign this template to your store, go to Online Stores, open the Store Settings and select the template in the drop-down. Don't forget to save the changes. That's it! Now the new template will be used for this store. By the way, you can get to the template customization page right from here. Click on the Customize button and make the necessary changes to the template. Thanks for watching!